Hi, I'm Luca Bartolomeo from Vision for Robotics Lab at ETH Zurich. In this presentation, we are going to talk about our work, Autonomous Emergency Landing for Multicopters Using Deep Reinforcement Learning. In recent years, unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs in short, have been deployed in more and more situations. Thanks to recent findings in robotics, they can autonomously navigate in complex environments. However, when deployed in urban scenarios, safety becomes of primary importance. There are in fact a bunch of emergency situations that can happen, such as mechanical failure, battery life drops because of cold weather, state estimation errors, or sudden changes in the weather. In such cases, the UAV needs to land safely and quickly. Emergency landing pipelines need in fact to find a suitable landing spot as fast as possible, as well as to deal with different real-world constraints, such as avoiding to land in the middle of a busy road or on a roof of a house. In the literature, there are two main approaches tackling this problem. The most used one, that is also employed in commercial solutions, such as Amazon Prime Air or Google Wing, uses a landing pad to mark the landing area. As we see in the video of the work by Pulparetal, this leads to high success rates, but it cannot really be used in emergency situations. On the other hand, other solutions focus on the detection of possible landing sites and are proven to work in a structured environment. However, they generally assume high quality sensor input and exclusively rely on geometric information, meaning that they don't consider if a chosen landing spot lies in an unrestricted area. In this work, we focus on the problem of emergency landing in urban scenarios, where the goal is to identify a suitable landing spot and fly the drone there as quickly as possible. In particular, we propose a deep reinforcement learning based pipeline. The input to our system is a single RGB image that is then processed by a semantic segmentation and depth completion neural networks. These networks output a semantic mask and a depth map that are then processed by a deep RL policy. The policy map these inputs into actions that, that are chosen from a fixed set that includes lateral action, alt, and descending motions. The chosen action is then communicated to the UAV's low-level controller. Notice that here the policy uses semantics and depth as input, as these mid-level representations have been proven to lead to faster convergence of the policy. Notice that also the depth completion neural networks requires sparse depth input together with RGB images. In the pipeline using real-world experiments, we use a vision-based LAMP system to estimate the depth of a sparse set of landmarks. Finally, since our objective is to deploy the pipeline on small drones, it is designed in a modular way such that semantic segmentation and depth completion neural network could either run on board the drone on a portable GPU or could be outsourced to the cloud. We now show how the policy is trained in a series of selected 3D static models of real-life places. We spawn the robot randomly in the model and we task it to land safely on terrain. In this case, we consider terrain as the only safe area to land on. For faster training, we parallelize the process using four drones at a time. While at the beginning the policy makes a mistake and collides into obstacles, as it gathers more experience, the success rate increases. Notice that here we divided the training into two different phases. First, the policy is bootstrapped using ground truth, semantics, and depth, and then fine tuned using the output of actual semantic segmentation and depth completion neural networks, always in simulation. Once the policy is trained, it is tested in a series of seven models of real life places not experienced during training. We compare the policy against a baseline planner approached by Mittal et al and a commercial solution by PIX4. Here we show the performance in one of these models. Successful runs are in green while failures in red. While our policy flies the UAV to the ground safely, the baseline planner collides most of the time. The approach by PIX4 also brings to collision, while Mittal et al generate long intertwined paths. In this example, our planner reaches the high success rate and the lowest time to land. As we can see from the summary of the results in simulation, the proposed policy reaches the high success rate and the lowest time to land in general. This demonstrated our policy architecture can deal with noise inputs, 
and that semantic information can be highly beneficial for path planning purposes. Our policy is directly employed in a real mission with additional fine tuning after training. Here, the robot is tasked to land safely on terrain. State estimation, control, and the policy were running on board the robot, while semantic segmentation and depth completion were outsourced to the cloud. Data communication was done using a mobile 4G connection, and this is the reason why it's possible to see some delay between the RGB image and the semantic mask. During testing, we also experienced some failure cases for our policy. In this example, the UAV almost collides in a lamppost that was not captured in the depth map by the completion. This was caused by the featureless appearance of the lamppost, as the lamp system was not able to generate friendly landmarks on it. In the second run, because of semantic misclassification, the UAV tries to land on bushes, as they were misclassified as terrain. To summarize, in this work, we propose a deep reinforcement learning based pipeline for autonomous emergency landing of multi rotors. In the extensive evaluation, both in simulation and the real world, we show that our policy outperformed the state of the art and a commercial solution. More importantly, our approach allows to train the policy exclusively in simulation and to directly employ it in a real mission with additional fine tuning. We will also release the policy training architecture and the simulator as open source to benefit the community. As future work, we plan to extend the pipeline to deal with uncertainties in semantic classification, as well as to extend it to work in dynamic scenes.